Back here at home after a two year break because of the pandemic, the 19th annual Veterans Day Parade was held in the San Fernando Valley. And veterans were also honored at Dodger Stadium. KTLA's Rachel Menatoff is live in Pacoima with more on Veterans Day events around town. Rachel. Sharon, Pedro, we have been covering celebrations all over Southern California, including the parade, the annual Veterans Day parade that you mentioned in San Fernando. And many people tell us this is their opportunity every single year to show their support and their gratitude for our dedicated servicemen and women. Thousands of people lined the streets of Laurel Canyon Boulevard. Many people like Rose Curiel are thinking about their loved ones who served. Especially the Vietnam veterans when they came home, they weren't honored. So this is beautiful that we're doing this. So when we say thank you for your service, it should be more like thank you for your sacrifice. Nice, one more, dude. The Dodgers hosted 500 active duty service members and their families for a special Veterans Day event. Just opening the field to all of us veterans is is a once in a lifetime thing. Marine Corps veteran Chris Gonzalez got a chance go. to try his hand at batting practice with his son. There was also a Q&A with longtime Dodger catcher Austin Barnes and first baseman Max Muncy. But it's really about us honoring those who actually serve you. Rock and roll legend Gene Simmons greeted veterans in El Segundo, dining at Rock and Brews and served them complimentary meals. These are the real heroes. They, you may not see their capes, but they're all wearing one. These are the real vets that make America possible. A Navy veteran himself, L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti, says in addition to these celebrations, the city is working to better assist people returning home from their service. Here in Los Angeles, we serve in higher levels than anywhere in the United States. I think people don't think of L.A. as a military town, but it really is. It might be your neighbor, it might be your coworker, it might be a relative of yours, but they're all around us. U.S. Marine Corps veteran Eric Adame says he felt embraced by the community. It's just nice seeing like the community come together to be able to do that. Seeing the past and then seeing the present and, you know, seeing the future. So seeing the ROTC out here too as well. I'm sure a lot of those guys are going to eventually start one day. So. And mayoral candidate Rick Caruso was also at the parade. He told us he was thinking about his dad, who was a former Navy aviator. And the festivities are continuing here at Ritchie Valens Park, where there is a weekend long carnival of rides, games, and all kinds of delicious food. We're live in Pacoima tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff. I'll send it back to both of you in the studio. Rachel, thank you.